there is a lot of Mars last time. Scientists telling us their actually amazing plans about the colonization they want to realize in the nearest future, huge space companies want to explore the red planet with modern robots and people. Those perspectives sound really crazy in a good way, but can we say something about the Mars now? Is the Mars exactly the same as Earth and was there any life? All right, let's remember how the scientists were able to explore the planet. Of course, scientists was loving to tell about the different planets, and, mostly, at those times, they had a philosophy and literature as main information generator. Of course, there were math, physics, even basic chemistry, but they were so unpowerful. So, back to the main studies of that period. Philosophy always loved, loving and will love the questions like. Who we are, where the human was came and do the god exist? All the philosophers had their opinions about those questions, and they were telling a lot about the planets, how them are linked with our organism, mind and gods. Scientists were not able to see the space or even imagine it. They have known about the planets a lot of years ago by the math-based and parent studies. Their knowledge was so limited and they have only known about a circle that flies around the sun. The years are going and we have more information about interesting to us objects, so in 1534 year BC we got a map with all planets of our system. But, of course, we want to know something more detailed about the red planet. People of those times thought so and then, in 1610, Galileo di Vincenzo made an astronomic invention. He captured the Mars and saw one of the phases of this planet. Johannes Hevelius also have seen it, but in 1645, 35 years after the first capturing of this interesting phenomenon. The telescope progress was moving so, in 1644 scientist from Italy, Daniello Bartoli could see the interesting spots. It was two of them and they were really dark. Then, in 1651, 1653 and 1655, Giovanni Battista Riccioli with his pupil, got saw some places with different albedo. In 1659 Christian Huygens got a capture of Certus Major Planum, that is darker than others. Why have we talked about the telescope? The answer is pretty simple. We need to understand how the Mars is formed and see what's inside the red planet. And, when we got some information about Mars, we really want to believe that it has some life and organic elements that will contact with us as soon as possible. Alright, the first talks about the life on the Mars were in 19th century, when the science and technology started to move fast as they can, and the scientists got some new information to work with. We've already known about duration of a day on this planet, we also know about temperature and other things that are so important to us. Modern robots were made not only for people and Earth. It also helps to explore the space. It's really easier for scientists to know more about the universe while they sitting in laboratories and monitoring the robot's job. It's also not too expensive to run a robot into the space. In 2013, NASA got a rock and a grass from the planet. After working with it, scientists were really shocked to understand that these structures contain very important things for life. Also, there are really small chances that the life on the surface of the Mars is possible. But, many scientists believe that it can be inside of Mars. We haven't made any experiments with this information, but it will be done soon, we believe. As you heard before, there is no life on the surface because it has a huge dose of radiation. The radiation can also be inside of grass and stones, so on the Mars the single life that can be is the bacteria or any organism that can take a huge radiation and feel good with it. If really, there were a lot of massive resonances about the Mars living. Robots found water, a lot of the same in biosphere, but you may understand that the lives can be different, and their needs too. We can't say that a lot of radiation, very high or low temperature, problems with chemical materials will affect other kinds of life. But we can say that without special clothing and air, we couldn't live normally, so we thinking that other lives could not too. If you're waiting for news about the red planet, subscribe and leave a like. We will talk about it, we promise.